Hey guys, welcome back. I'm very excited about this YouTube video. I had the opportunity to work with Jada Wesley. She's a TikTok star, so I was very excited about that. Also, first photo shoot that I'm sharing video of in my new little studio behind me. Specifically, the three things I'm gonna cover in this video is the first thing, one modifier, one softbox. Getting amazing light with just one softbox, especially if you're on a budget. Number two is kind of stepping out of my comfort zone, trying to get creative with lighting, uh, not just stuck to like this beauty clamshell lighting that I've been doing for a while. It's beautiful, but I needed to change things up. And then lastly, the third thing is, why did the last look, in my opinion, kind of separate itself from all the other looks? Uh, it was really my favorite, the model Jada, she loved all her photos, but I really liked the last look. But what, what was behind that? You know, what's the ingredients, but the why? So I'm gonna speak to that. But uh, again, those are the three things I'm covering. Very excited to release this video to you guys. Sit back, enjoy some of the BTS, enjoy some of the photos, and hopefully you can take something away from this video. All right guys, on our first topic, the first thing I wanna speak about is the Impact Extra Large Umbrella. I've seen this thing around. I've never considered it um, for many reasons. One, kind of the build quality. I thought it was kind of cheap. Uh, two, the price point, $65.99. I'm like, uh, what kind of lighting can you get out of something like that? Um, and just seeing you know, some videos or, or some pictures, some people shot with it. I'm like, you know, that's, that's just not for me. But I saw some video online. Actually, I saw some maternity uh, photographers using it and they kind of had it overhead and, and it was a big, broad, you know, soft light source. And, and I was looking at some of their photos and I'm like, okay. But what really caught me is how they were using it uh, from up top coming straight down. I found that very interesting. And so I said, what the heck? Um, it wasn't expensive. Let's try it, you know. We are using Profoto lighting, so that should help. Um, but not only did I get the umbrella, but I got the, uh, what are they, the, the soft tissue, or the soft uh, modifier that covers it. Uh, you can see it right behind me. It's right above my head. Um, and so I gave it a shot. And guys, I'm very shocked. Uh, honestly, I have a large Profoto five footer. Um, that is what, 499, 500 bucks. This thing was $65 and I'm amazed. Um, I used it for the first time on this photo shoot with Jada. And on the last look, I only used it. I didn't use anything else. And I'm very happy. Like, I can't believe it. I, I, I'm in shock. $65 with soft, amazing quality light and a big broad source. Uh, so guys, if you're, on, if you're on a budget, or not even on a budget, if you want something nice, affordable, and it's good lighting and quality lighting, um, I recommend it. Uh, you know, go, go get it. Go order it. I'll drop the link under the description. Uh, but I was very excited with the image quality and the soft lighting I've seen in my photos, which I'll share with you guys. Uh, but again, the Impact 60, I think 65 inch or 72 inch extra large umbrella. Price point about $65.99, I believe. Uh, impressed. All right, second thing I wanna talk to guys is kind of getting out of the comfort zone, specifically with lighting and, and shooting and studio. Um, what really has inspired me lately is I, I would like to do more music, more music cover albums. Um, I really like some of the photo shoots on music cover albums, especially, you know, hip hop, rap, R&B. Uh, I like the colors or, or reggaeton. Uh, you know, Bad Bunny, J Balvin, and some of those guys, and I like how the lighting falls on them. And, you know, like I said earlier, I did a lot of clamshell, I did a lot of beauty, but I really wanted to like get some edginess going, and I wanted the photos to kind of look like they had a hip hop vibe going. Um, and seeing how some of these maternity photographers were using it, I was like, you know what, let's give it a shot, let's, let's play with this. And that, that's what really kind of inspired me first. Um, again, was trying to get more of a, like a hip hop music vibe, a style. And then how can I get soft, edgy lighting? Um, but soft, that was the key thing. And so this thing is big. Um, it's almost 70, I think two inches, I believe wide, uh, check online. Um, but it gave me kind of what I was looking for. And as I was looking at Jada's images, even just shooting just with the one light source, I was happy. I'm like, you know what? This is kind of going in the right direction of where I want to go, kind of
kind of get that moodiness, that overhead lighting, but still being soft. Um, so again, uh, I think it did a great job of going in the direction of where I want to go. And this is just a start. So my first time using it. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy uh, with this light source and with the overall vibe of lighting that it's giving you. All right, guys, point number three. Uh, specifically, why did, in my opinion, uh, Jada's last look, I believe, came out the best? And when I say the best, I don't just mean lighting, I just don't mean technically sound, but what I mean is the overall styling, the overall um, color uh, of the styling, uh, the overall color grade maybe of the image. Yes, lighting, you know, you add all those things together and it, it's a good image, right? But I felt specifically that Jada's last look um, was the best, not because I styled it, uh, but I did. I styled it for a reason, by the way. Um, but I just felt like the colors, yes, the colors of the wardrobe, the colors of the styling, the color of the backdrop, and the softness and, and lighting overall, it, it just all went together. And I said color how many times, guys, and where this is going is, recently I've been watching some videos on color theory, and I thought I knew about lighting, I thought I knew about color, but I didn't. And I was actually very excited to see how specific colors, you know, can give a, an expression of, of happiness, of joy, of sad, of, of sorrow, et cetera, depending on the colors you use and, and complementary colors, et cetera. And so I did some studying on that and Jada's last look specifically, I styled it for what I thought colors and style were kind of complementing each other. And so that was my goal or attempt to apply what I learned recently in those videos. Um, and not that I didn't do that in the first half of her looks, but I did let, I did let Jada pick her outfits in the first couple looks, kind of what she wanted, what she liked, uh, want to make her happy, right? They're her photos, etc. And so, but the last look is something that, you know, I pulled together. Uh, I really like the overall styling. I like the vibe. Again, I was going for the music album, you know, rap, hip hop, color vibe look, you know, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, et cetera. And uh, I think we pull it off really good, but I just, I want to specifically again, point out that, you know, color theory, complementary colors, triad colors, et cetera. There's a couple terminologies I'm still learning here. It's actually important. And besides the styling we did post-production now color grading i use capture one pro uh, you could do the same thing in adobe lightroom and on and on uh, but in post-production color grading her photos i kind of kept that in mind i kind of kept that in mind with the shadows the midtones the highlights on the color wheel and just kind of really emphasizing the the tans of her the browns of her skin the blues the softness of the blues the gold etc just really trying to push those colors and kind of taking out some of the other colors uh, just to really capture the specific color that what I thought on the color theory wheel and, and complementary colors would go together. So that's my reason why I think her last look um, came out the best. I know Jada likes her other looks probably better, but for me, this was my favorite look. Again, I think mainly besides styling and color, it kind of gave me what I wanted. It gave me that music, rap, hip hop look. Um, and you know, that's one of my goals is to shoot some music album covers. Uh, so yeah. All right guys, thank you for watching this YouTube video. I was really happy with the overall look, the overall finished edited images. I was very excited to work with Jetta Wesley at the same time. Um, proud that I kind of got out of my comfort zone a little bit. And you know, this is just the start. I'm learning with every photo shoot. Um, I'm learning from you guys. I see the comments. Um, and I'm put, trying to push my boundaries. I'm trying to get more creative uh, besides wardrobe and styling with lighting as well. And uh, yeah, this is just the start. And overall, I'm, I'm happy. I enjoyed the shoot. I enjoyed the process. And I can't wait to share much more uh, videos with you guys to come. And again, hopefully you take something away from this. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them uh, down on the bottom. I try to get back to them ASAP. And uh, thanks for watching. Hi guys, my name is Jada and I just had the most amazing shoot ever with Gabe. You guys, these photos are unreal. I'm still in shock myself at how good they turned out. You can check them out here or also on my platforms. 
My at is at Jada Wesley, and yeah, that's a wrap.